And welcome back to the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke Challenge. On the last episode, we ended up catching, well, Gino, I guess you could say. Now, Gino might be a little bit different than last time because of my slight mistake with uh, not being able to save correctly on the last episode. That's okay. Either way, um, we got the Pokedex from Professor Ron, and we started doing other things. So we've seen Turtwig and Piplup, which Piplup's reading is just a poor walker. It often falls down, however. Strong pride makes it puff up his chest without care. So either way. So, uh, there's one other thing I forgot to mention about a Nuzlocke challenge. Is that also in the options menu, you got to make sure that the battle style is put to set. Meaning pretty much whenever an opponent's Pokemon faints, it cannot switch out. Like you can, like, they'll say... Your, your person's about to use uh, something like they're about to switch Pokemon. Uh, do you want to switch to? Uh, you can't do that anymore. Either way, China! I have something good here. You should take this as well. We obtained TM27, which I believe is Return. Yes, this is the technical machine. That one contains the move Return. Using a t technical team or t while wow, technical machine or TM for short teaches the move instantly to a Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is a single use only. The move Return gains power the more friendly your Pokemon is with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use a team or not. I send you off with a wish that your journey will be fun. Oh wow! I didn't know the professor had TMs. Was he a trainer when he was young? Oh, China, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as a professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. And Dawn will give us a tour. This building with the red roof is called this building with the red roof is called the Pokemon Center. It's a place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is a Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. China, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Great, you're calling. You're telling me I suck. Thanks, Don. Anyway. Oh, that's right, China. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Ron with the Pokedex? You may need to go far away, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up at the Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. Yes. Especially since they're doing a Nuzlocke challenge, it's very important that I actually heal up. Because if I don't, well, I could lose Pokemon. I could lose Pokemon permanently and be like, no! Either way, just like other Pokemon centers, talk to Nurse Joy and... Yay for healing Pokemon. And continue on. I wonder, I don't know, if we can buy Pokeballs yet? I really hope we can, just so I can actually, I don't know, obtain other Pokemon and not have to worry about Piplup being alone. Sorry, I meant Gino. Okay, good. We can buy Pokeballs. So, I'm not going to need many, since I can only catch one in each area. So, I'm just going to start by buying... Uh, yeah, let's say ten. Which will also get me a Premier Ball. However, I'm going to load up on potions, since I know I'm going to need them. Pretty much, I'm going to make sure I load up on everything else. Either way. Okay. So... We need to go back to ho our home, which uh, on Route 201 we've already kept. We've already ran into two Pokemon, so we can't really catch anything from there. I healed, right? I believe so. Yeah, Gino's healed. I know. Probably people are saying, "Why would you call it Gino? He's not a character anymore." Well, it's because I love Gino. I want him to live on. Anyway, before that, we're gonna actually go to Lake Verity to catch our first Pokemon, since we have not run into any Pokemon there yet. At Lake Verity, you can either find a Bidoof or a Starly. So let's see which one's going to be my partner. Ugh. I was hoping it'd be a Starly. Oh well. Bidoof it is. I have to say, I've never really used a Bidoof other than for a uh, HM slave, so this should be interesting. Oh, I thought almost for a second I killed that Beedoof, and I'm like, no, I just lost my partner. Either way, let's go to my Pokeballs, and... You know, we'll make him shiny. Why not? 
Premier Ball! Just for the heck of it. Yay! We caught Bidoof. Awesome. A comparison revealed that Bidoof's front teeth grew at the same rate as a Rattata's. Interesting. Uh, what should we call Bidoof? Uh, hmm. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm going to call Bidoof Banjo for the heck of it. Oh, you think you guys might see where I'm going with this. I might eventually change Banjo's name, but for now, he's going to be known as Banjo. And with that, we have our second member, which is Banjo. Hi, Banjo. Uh, modest nature, simple. Okay, um, I don't mind simple too much as an ability. Uh, especially since with stat changes can do a number of things for my team in general, so that will not be a horrible thing. Huh. This should be interesting actually using a Bidoof. Not that I like having like two water Pokemon, because Bidoof eventually becomes a water type in my team, but you know what, we can deal with it. I forgot, was this my house? That is not my house. Come on. Come on, China, find your house. I think it's right here. Of course, it'd be the biggest house because it's the main protagonist and stuff. But either way, hey, Mom. Welcome home, China. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? It's so late right now. Take a quick rest, dear. Oh, by the way, I'm recording this at, like, midnight because I've had no other time. But oh, excuse me. But that's besides the point. What is it, China? Wow, Professor Ron asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know. China, i got something that you'll find useful. And we have the journal. That's a journal. It keeps a record of your daily events. Check it and you'll be able to remember what you did last. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I am the you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, dear. Yep, China. I'll be right. I'll be alright by myself, so you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Excuse me, is my little Barry here? Uh... Oh, no, he's not. Huh, oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless, I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, China will deliver that to him. Won't you, China? Apparently, I am now Legendary China, the extraordinaire of delivery men, anyway. Oh, really? You do that for me? China, please say it's a berry for me. And berry's parcel, of course. Bye-bye, China. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he'd probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my berry. Alright, so I guess that means our goal is to, ju to go to Jubilife, but... I think Banjo will go to the lead because he's only a level 2 Bidoof and we need to really pump him up a little bit more than that. Because, yeah, we need kind of stronger Pokemon art to survive something as a Nuzlocke challenge. Oh wow, Avery ran into a new Pokemon, Krikatot. Now I believe this is a bug Pokemon. It's a shame that I can't catch it because I would have rather had a Krikatot or Starly, but that's okay. Either way, not really much special about Krikatot, except it's kind of interesting that you can only find Krikatot in the morning and night, and not, like, during the day. Well, the afternoon. Okay, since he's going to store up energy, I'm just going to growl at him a couple of times with Piplup going rawr all the time, because Piplup is so powerful going rawr. Either way. And I meant Gino, just because I really like the name Gino. Because... All my friends know that I've always been like a die-hard Super Mario RPG fan for like forever. So just the fact that I've nicknamed the Pip Love Gino is kind of funny. Well, especially like near Pip Love's last form, Empoleon, or however the heck you say it. I absolutely love that, and he would be like powerful, and then his, then one of his attacks I'd be like Gino World, just for the heck of it. Either way. <laughs> okay, so any new encounters that are just like random. I will uh, just skip if I actually see them. 
Okay, so we're back in Sand Gem. Let's go to the center again, heal quickly. Yes. Rest them, please. Yes, you guys are probably hearing the da 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 thing a lot, which it's okay. I don't mind it too much, but still, it's like it gets old after a while. I'll keep it at that. Okay, either way. So, yes. So, we're going to want to go north, but if you go south quickly, you'll see that we go to a beach area, which is Route 219. There's not really anything we can do here right now because of body of water, but there is an item here that I wanted to pick up. Antidote. Antidote cures poison, and you never know when a Pokemon may be poisoned, and especially in a Nuzlocke challenge, you need to be very careful about that, because I don't want any of my Pokemon to die. Either way, so to Route 202. And there's Dawn. Oh, that's right. Chad, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. Oh, guess what, Dawn? You need to demonstrate because I just caught a Pokemon. But either way, uh, Dawn gives you a slight tutorial on how to catch Pokemon. Oh, look, it's a Bidoof that I just caught, except it's a female. And I am not using a Chimchar. <laughs> either way, the bottom screen is just, like, showing exactly how to do... Exactly how to catch. But it's quite simple. You weaken the Pokemon until it's either in the orange or red. And then you throw a Pokeball at it and hope to God that it catches. Especially in a Nuzlocke challenge. Especially since if you don't catch it and then you end up killing it or it runs away, then you're screwed for the area and don't get a new partner. <laughs> either way, in the route we're at right now, you can either find... At this time at night, it's a Bidoof, a Starly again. Krikatot appears in the morning at night. And also, a new Pokemon, Shinx, appears, which I'm hoping I'll run into a Shinx. Giggle! See, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. Support okay, blah, blah, blah. Oh, uh, we already know all this, because I just showed you how to do that. But hey, we get more Pokeballs that I'm probably not going to use too much. Either way. Okay, come on, Dawn. Goodbye. Alright, so let's pick up our new partner right here. Who's it gonna be? Oh dear lord. <laughs> oh, I was afraid something like this is gonna happen. <laughs> oh crap. Banjo, don't die on me. No, I don't want to have two Beedoos in my party. Why well, do I have to do the no, uh, the, why do I have to choose to, to not do the no duplicate roll? Ugh. This is the one thing I was afraid was going to happen, and sure enough it did, but I want more than six Pokemon. I want more than two in my team right now, just to be on the safe side, so. We'll catch another Beedoof. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Yay for duplicates! <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a game like this. You're gonna feel it. Watch, and next year it'll end up having to catch another Bidoof. Then it'll be like, no! Okay, yes, I know exactly what I'm gonna name you. Why? with like six Y's because I'm like no anyway okay so <laughs> well it looks like our third member is Y <laughs> oh dear lord I, I had a feeling something like this is gonna happen oh man okay so our next partner is another Bidoof <laughs> uh please no more Bidoofs I mean I guess I can use why? Why? As a HM slave, if I wanted to. Actually, that might be what I do, since uh, when I actually catch more than six, why? Will immediately go into my PC, into the non Fallen Heroes PC, which is what I'm going to call the box that actually has the rest of my Pokemon in, I think. Alright. So, ooh, we have our first trainer here. 
You're a Pokemon trainer, and so am I. Our eyes, our eyes met, so must we battle. So battle we must. Wow, I cannot read tonight. Either way, the first, well, the second battle, technically. Yep, yeah, Gangster Trixton, who has a Starly. A level 5 Starly, actually. Okay, Banjo's a little weak for this, so I'm going to send out Gino. Gino should be able to easily handle the Starly. Because, you know, level difference and everything. So you're just going to use a lot of, like, status lowering stuff, most likely. Because most of the MPs, especially in the beginning, tend to like to use Growl, 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 or Tail Whip, Tail Whip, or whatever the beginning thing is, just to... I don't know if it's just to give the person a little bit of a chance to get used to everything, or if it's for something else. But either way, we're going to keep pounding this bird's ass to the ground. Because that is how we roll, yo. Let's see how much that tackle does. Probably not much. Ah, four damage. That's not too bad. We can take out that Starly way before that. And if we have issues, we have about, like, uh, quite a few potions on us. So don't need to worry too much. Ah, look. Critical hit. That works. Yay! Banjo grew a level. It's always good for Banjo growing up a level. Too strong, too strong! Yes, I am almighty powerful! Don't be shy about talking to trainers you'd like to battle. Pokemon grow stronger and stronger from battling. Yes, I know that. Either way, just going to use a quick potion. That way I can keep going with Geno. Since Y is on level 3, I'll continue to have Banjo in the front there. To battle this next trainer. I spy with my little eye, a trainer. A battle, please. Battle! Ah! And this is last in tally. And she has a Bidoof. A level 5 Bidoof, which is still stronger than Banjo. So, Gino gets more action. Oh, wow. I don't, I don't even know if Bidoof has, like, anything other than Tackle at level 5. Because, again, I've never actually trained a Bidoof, so... Um, yeah. So we'll, again, pound it to Oblivion like we did with the last Pokemon. Okay... I get a little scared when I see that my HP's going down. Uh... Yeah, we'll be fine for one more hit. Yes, thank goodness. That'll raise Banjo up another level, which is awesome. And maybe that'll raise Gino up too. Oh, so close. Oh, boo, I can't win. More money! My Pokemon are all tuckered out. I need to go to a Pokemon Center. And I need to use another potion so I can continue moving on. Okay, Gino. Yeah, you'll notice that I'm going to have, like, a ton of items on me just to make sure that I can survive most of these battles. Uh, hi Bidoof. Okay Banjo, go attack him because you're actually two levels higher. So let's see how you actually do in a battle. Compared to the other one, eh, three damage is not too too bad. I still can't believe I have to raise two Bidoofs now. That, that, that does kind of make me laugh a little bit. Yeah, this one is going to be gone very soon. And look, he didn't even put me into the yellow. Good job, Banjo. Alright, let's switch back to Y. Alright, either way. I don't need to show, like, every single battle. Okay, so in that last battle that I was just in, uh, Gino went up another level and also learned Bubble. So now we actually have one water attack, and we'll fight this trainer and call it a day. Or a night. Let's have a Pokemon battle, huh, but I'm gonna win. Yeah, we'll see about that, you... I think it's another youngster. Of course, youngster Logan, who has a Burmy. Now, Burmy is a grass type. Or bug grass. I think this type is a bug grass, but either way. Uh, well, actually, I think since it's only a Burmy, it's only a bug type. If it was a Wormadon, then it'd be bug grass. But either way, um, Gina will go take care of this. And I can show off an awesome new bubble! 
Now I believe Bubble also has a chance of maybe lowering speed, or maybe that's only Bubble Beam. No, I don't think it. I don't think Bubble does lower speed. But either way, it's good uh, because that I. Oh, it does. Can lower speed. Okay, that just answered my question. By the way, now that Gino actually does have Bubble, uh, Gino is more of a special attacker than an actual attacker, so it'll work out a little bit better for me in the long run. Just like my two b doofs are more physical attackers than special, so that's what I'll mainly have them with. Okay, why is on level 4? Will Gino level up? I didn't think so. You beat me, you've got talent! Alright, either way, on the next episode of Pokemon Platinum, we shall continue exploring Route 202, as well as Ray's Gino, Banjo, and Why? So, until next time, guys, see you later.